So now Wasabi Wallet. Wasabi Wallet is the tool that I recommend to fix both blockchain and network privacy. Okay, so it's a desktop wallet that's available on, on Windows, on Mac, on Linux. It's also fully open source and the backend too. So it's you're connected to a server and that server is also open source and you can run your own server that you connect to. However, you're probably not gonna wanna do that and I'm gonna explain why not in a second. Also, for those who are more interested in the technical part, Wasabi is written in C Sharp and with the .NET framework. Also, Wasabi, which is interesting and which protects you from network privacy, is by default when you launch it with or without or with technical expertise, it's already wrapped with Tor, which means that it always uses Tor to connect to external sources, which protects your network privacy enormously. So, but also there's another issue when it comes to network privacy. And the other issue is that, let's say I connect I give the, I return to the previous example, the one of Ledger. When I'm using Ledger, I can, when I connect to the Ledger server with Ledger Live, I'm telling Ledger all my addresses are mine. And I'm telling them, hey, this address, this address, this address, I'm talking about Bitcoin addresses, they're all, they are all owned by the same person. So they know that all these addresses, even if I put coins differently, Someone looking at the blockchain won't necessarily know they're all owned by the same person. But Ledger, the company, they know. So Wasabi Wallet, what it does is that it uses a technology named Neutrino SPV, which is Simple Payment Verification Style or Connection. And what this does is that it simply cannot allow uh, an external server that you connect to to get the information from the blockchain it cannot allow them to know that your addresses are linked between one another. And how does it achieve that? Briefly, it just pulls a lot of data to, to make the other party, uh, to give the other party just so much data that your addresses could be this or this or this. So they just give up and are not gonna focus on the analysis because the probabilities are just too big. Um, so whenever you're using, let's say another SPV wallet, like Red Wallet, well, it's SPV as well. So you're not connecting to one server like you're connecting with Ledger. You're connecting to many servers, let's say, but you're still doing it in a way that isn't good for your privacy. Wasabi does it correctly with Neutrino. And on top of that, it's connecting through Tor. So even then, you're not only not exposing, not only linking your addresses between themselves, you're also not revealing your IP address, which is very important as well. So then, Wasabi also has hardware wallet integration, but it's not available for CoinJoin. And finally, what CoinJoin is, CoinJoin is basically the fact that uh, the, the, the technique that pulls a lot of people together into, let's say, let's say we put everyone here where let's say 20 people and we all put a $20 bill in a jar. And then we just mix the 20 times $20 bills together and then someone just pulls out everyone just pulls another one out from the lot after they were mixed we're probably not going to pick up the same and someone who didn't watch what we did is not going to know uh which put between we're going to know who put what in and who took what but we're not going to know how that was mixed and that's coin join basically we just sent 0.1 Bitcoin somewhere and you get 0.1 Bitcoin from someone else in the same round and then it just gets sent to another address. So the link that someone could follow to your addresses is now bro bro break. Well, it's not breaking. It's just that now it's if we're 20 people, it's it has a 5% chance of being yours because there's 20 possibilities. Right? It's either 0.1 out of 20 options. So that's Wasabi Wallet in a nutshell. But you mix with around 100 peers, so it's even more. So it's either 1 in 100 that someone who's trying to analyze you, he's gonna, he has the chances to fall on. And I'm going to show you what it looks like in a second. But keep in mind that it's, there's around a 0.15 fee every time you mix coins with Wasabi. 
also you have to keep in mind that the risks involved here are very minimal so the risks are first of all there's a cost 0.15 of your fees then you have to have minimum 0.1 bitcoin to enter a wasabi wallet coin join round finally you have to understand that wasabi wallet cannot steal your coins because they're never sent to them they're always in your hands you're just going to see how that works in a second and also wasabi wallet cannot de-anonymize you because you're always connected to tor with wasabi wallet server and you're also using blind signatures which hides that the address that you're using before the round and after the round is not the same person so even if you're connecting to tor if you were using the same tor identity they could just know ah this person came in and it just came out this way but since you're using blind signatures it hides that how the person who came in and the person who came out is the same person so even wasabi wallet cannot de-anonymize you in any way